kind of stupid fighting your tether, isn't it? You know, as stupid as it looks, sometimes we're just as foolish out in the tree. And, you know, it takes a while before you get all these little tips and tricks down and you realize that, why am I fighting my tether, right? So today's quick little video is going to be about don't fight your tether. Use it to your advantage. We're going to show you how right after this. Okay guys, what do I mean by not fighting the tether? Here's exactly what I mean. A lot of times in the woods, we find ourselves in not such a straight tree, right? A lot of times there's limbs all over the place, there's a crook in it, a lean into it. And if you put your tether perfectly in line with yourself, like on this one, you can see my platform is down here on a straight stretch, and then the tree takes a drastic lean. This is not unlike a lot of trees I hunt out in the woods. And here's what it's doing. It's winged me. I literally had to catch myself there because gravity, my weight is going to pull me that way, right? So it took a while. I know this is going to be one of those stupid moments where you're like, yeah, I can't believe he didn't figure this one out for a while. It took a set or two, not on a tree this drastic, but just with a slight lean, I was, I was finding myself worn out at the end of the hunt because I, you know, maybe my side was sore or something, and I finally figured out after two or three hunts, I was like, I'm fighting my tether. I'm not using gravity to my advantage. And I'm, I'm on this drastic tree to show you. Here's what I've learned to do. Slide your tether over and let it pull from the side. Now, I'm really comfortable. I'm not fighting it like I was, right? Conversely, or, or in addition to, if, if you want to switch around, a lot of times, and, and I'm not going to go through all the showing you and everything, I'll just talk you through it. A lot of times, I will climb a tree on one side, the upside, the, the top of the lean, right? But I really want to be hunting facing that way. And if I do that, now if I had a ring of steps, this would be a whole lot easier. But once I get over here, now you're going to see it. It really wants to, because I slid my tether to the left, it wants to throw me over here, right? So now here's what I do. Take your tether and slide it back over this way. Now I can lean up against the tree really easily if this is the way I want to hunt, okay? So I do that quite often when I'm in a tree. I will move my tether so that it positions me in my center of gravity in line with a tree, even if it's got a lean like that. So, I hope, <laughs> see, here, that's a great example. I did not even mean to do that, okay? So, uh, hopefully that little tip helps you today. We talked about this series. is going to be a lot of short little videos that are quick tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. Stick around. We've got a lot more coming. Hope you like it and subscribe it, and we'll see you on down the line.